Hi, and welcome to my channel. So, it's nearing the end of the year, and I've been collecting a lot of emptied products, which I've finally <laughs> accumulated into one big bag, as you can see here. So, I'm ready to go through everything and give many reviews on each product. I think this is always a great way to discover new products. I personally love watching these kinds of videos because you get a good general idea about each product and if they're worth looking into or getting. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I've split everything by category. First one here, which I don't have a lot of, is makeup. And the first product I used up is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara. I absolutely love this. First off, the packaging is so beautiful. And I really liked the brush applicator. It's very dense, so it grabs a lot of lashes and it's a fiber brush, which I personally like the best over like a plastic brush applicator. So definitely give this a 10 out of 10. The next product I have is the Pixie Liquid Fairy Lights in Rose Gold. I actually didn't completely use this up, but it started to dry up. But what's really neat is that it's kind of like a cream eyeshadow. It comes with a little brush applicator, like so. And as the name implies, it's rose gold, which I personally love to wear all year round. The next two products I have are from Rapid Lash. I worked with them earlier this year for, I think, the second or third time. I really love their products. I have Rapid Lash and Rapid Brow, which both help to enhance the look of your lashes and brows. They make them look fuller and longer, which is awesome because I always need help in that department. The other thing about these is that you have to keep up application to reap results. I would highly recommend checking these out at your local drugstore. Next, let's dive into a few random bits. For lip care, I have two lip balms. The first one is the Indeed Hydraluron volumizing lip treatment and I usually don't gravitate towards more of these like liquid lip balms but I actually really enjoyed this. It was very comfortable on the lips and I love that it's made in Canada as well. I think they became super popular in the last year or so on the international stage which is really awesome and I love their skincare in general. And from Yves Rocher I used up this Nourishing Shea Lip Balm Repair. So you can't go wrong with shea butter when it comes to moisturizing. So I really like this. This is a French brand. I absolutely love them. have been using them for years. You'll find a lot of content on Yves Rocher products on my channels. And a long time favorite of mine that I can't get enough of is this Now Solutions Xyli White Platinum Mint Toothpaste Gel. This is a staple in my oral hygiene routine. I love this. It's really great at keeping your teeth nice and white. And then for sun care, these are really great. The first one I got is the Seriously Fab Zinc It Over Fine and Sheer Sunscreen Facial Mist. And this is great because you can use it over makeup. So it's great throughout the day when you need to reapply and it does have SPF 25. And I believe they have like scented and unscented versions and I have the unscented one. It was really awesome and I think more brands should come out with over makeup sunscreens. I think it's something a lot of people would really enjoy. And another mini sunscreen I finished up is the Boo Bamboo Natural Sunscreen Spray with SPF 30. Despite it being a spray, you still need to blend it into your skin so I wouldn't recommend just like spraying it on your face like the other sunscreen but it's really nice it's more on the natural side this is also a Canadian company which I love supporting moving on to hair care which I'm excited to get into because I have a few new brands that I tried out this year that I'm excited to share with you guys and the first brand is Amika and I actually tried a full collection of their products I believe there are three in this one and it's the cure and I tried their Bond Repair Shampoo and Conditioner as well as their Multitask Repair Treatment. I know they are on the pricier side, but I think they're really worth it. You get 300 ml in the shampoo, 250 in the conditioner. And I really like the packaging. Green is my favorite color. They smell incredible. I think they're definitely worth checking out. And the last one in this set is their Multitask Repair Treatment, which I really liked. It's kind of like a mask, I would say, but like a liquid mask. So once you used up your conditioner, you use this to really like deep condition and you leave it on for like at least a minute and then rinse. 
and your hair is left like so soft and I find it really helped with frizz. I need to try more of their products actually. Another new brand I tried out is Lust and this is their Love Your Curls range. So I tried the shampoo and the conditioner and I'm still using up their curl like leave-in conditioner which I really like too. So this is specifically made for people with curly or wavy hair. I really like these as well. These are also made in Canada which is awesome. And I had never heard of them before, but once I looked into it, they're actually pretty big on the international stage, which is pretty cool. I don't know if they have more products or if those are the sole ones, but I'll have to look into it because I really liked these. Next, from Yves Rocher, I have this Volume and Substance Detangling Gel without silicone. This is a shampoo. I really like their shampoos. I stocked up in the last year or two years so I had a lot of these to go through and I believe this was like the last one out of all of these shampoo and conditioners that I bought. And then I also have this shine rinsing vinegar and this contains raspberry vinegar. First off it smells amazing and it actually works really well so if you want to do this like once a week just to add extra shine to your hair this works incredibly and I haven't tried that many rinsing vinegars of course you can make your own and I did notice a difference when it came to the shine of my hair it does really work then from cake which is another Canadian brand I love I have the holdout setting and shaping make it behaving style memorizing touchable brushable totally to die for flexi hold hairspray um, I think that is the longest name in history of a product I've come across and what I like about this is that it doesn't leave your hair feeling dry or crunchy your hair still has movement to it when you apply this it smells really nice and this brand is cruelty free and vegan which we all love I'm a big fan of their products they smell super sweet another hairspray I finished up is this mini Schwarzkopf professional Osis Plus texture hairspray. I like this as well. It's great for like textured looks so I would use this after curling my hair and apparently it gives 200% more volume which I wouldn't say gave that much but it does provide a nice hold and it's good also for like updos if you have a ponytail you want to stay in place for a long time but I did prefer the one from Cake. And the last hair product I have is from Flow. This is the H5 Concentrate Shine Serum also made in Canada. This is more, I would say, like on the stickier side, which is why I wasn't crazy about this product, but I do have another of their styling products that I still have to try. This is really great if you have dull hair and just want to add more shine to it. Between this and the rinsing vinegar from Yves Rocher, I would definitely go for the other one. I noticed more of a difference with that one, and I like that you could like rinse it off so you don't have like that sticky jelly feel like this one would sometimes leave in my hair. Moving on to body care, I have a natural deodorant. This is the All Good Tea Tree and Basil deodorant. I actually wasn't the biggest fan of this. I think it was maybe the smell. Um, tea Tree for me is kind of hit and miss. I find I had to reapply at least once per day to maintain freshness. And then I also finished up these Perspirex Comfort Roll-On Anti-Perspirant. So these are not natural, they do contain aluminum, but they are very heavy duty. And what I like is that it's very long lasting. They recommend using this at night when your underarms are completely dry after showering or bathing and it's supposed to last for up to three days, which is nuts. <laughs> I don't go that long between shower sessions, so what I do like is that it is scent free. A note of caution, if you just shaved, I would recommend uh, waiting a couple of hours before applying this because if not, it will burn and sting, so something to keep in mind. Then a new brand I've been trying out is Nature's Beauty and this is the Orange and Ginger Detox Bath and Body Wash. So they have a plant-based range which is really cool. I had never heard of them before but they did send me a few body products and this is the first one I managed to finish and I really really like this. Um, orange Ginger is an amazing scent combo. It's a woman owned brand which is really nice to support. I would definitely recommend checking their stuff out. When it comes to hand care, I finished two products. The first one is the Bubble Bath and Body Restoring Hand Wash. This is the Moroccan mint tea scent and it's basically a gel hand soap. I really really liked this. It is 
very like light and it has like goji berry extract which is really cool and it is um, suitable for vegans we love that and I find that the scent lingered quite a bit which is really nice and then from Yves Rocher I used up the two-in-one hands and nails beautifying hand and nail cream I usually bump up my hand cream usage in the colder months. I generally don't have to use that much of it, but it usually takes me a while to finish up because my hands usually stay quite moisturized naturally. But this is great to have on hand, pun intended, when you start feeling your hands getting like more dry and cracked. Another product from Cake is their Cakewalk Minty Buttered Oil, totally to die for, rich and reviving foot pretty creme that is an adorable name and this is made with cocoa butter avocado oil and sweet almond oil so as you can imagine it smells really nice and i like to apply this at night and slip some warm fuzzy socks on and you wake up to really soft and moisturized heels and toes i like the scent it kind of has a peppermint tea scent to it too which I personally really love and then a shower gel I finished is the gentle shower gel for sensitive skin this can be used on your face and body but I mostly just tried it on my body but I do love their shower gels Yves Rocher makes some great products and this contains organic witch hazel it helps balance the pH of your skin which it's super important. And then I also finished up this nostalgic product to me. I got this a long time ago. I was in high school when I got this in Boston on a school trip. And I got this at Victoria's Secret. And at the time, there weren't any Victoria's Secret here in my province. So I was like super excited to come across a store there. And this is what I bought myself. It's the Pink Wild at Heart Body Mist. I don't know if they still make this, probably not, but it's been a very nostalgic scent and one I will forever remember. But I did finally use this up. To be honest, at the end I just kind of used it as a room spray because I was scared to apply this to my skin since it is like over probably 15 years old, which is kind of embarrassing to say I've had this for so long, but I think that's why I was holding on to it just because it's such a reminder of my teenage years. And last but not least, the majority of my empties are face products. So I'll try to speed through this section. <laughs> so first off, I have some face masks or um, sheet masks. I have two from Skin Republic. I have their collagen serum and collagen hydrogel under eye patch. The under eye patch one had three applications, so they have three sets of patches. This is a 30 minute treatment. I really like this. It's great at the end of the day when you kind of feel tired and puffy, or even at the beginning of the day. And it has collagen, green tea, aloe vera, and vitamins A and E to help fight signs of tiredness. And then the serum was really nice as well. It has similar ingredients as well as elastin to help rejuvenate the elasticity of your skin. I would leave this on for about 20 minutes and then just massage the remainder of the product into my skin and let it dry. And then the other brand I have here is Montagne Jeunesse. I have their Detox and Replenish Hydrogel Mask and 24 Hour Hydration Sensitive Skin Mask. Both are really nice as well. The Detox one actually contains charcoal and berries. So this is actually what it looked like. It kind of has like this metallic look to it. Actually, I should show this side, you see it better. And it came in like two parts, which is really good. So I like that you can split it into two. It makes it easier to apply. This one too was really nice. I love Montagne Jeunesse facial sheets. They're really nice and I've used them for many years. And I just found one more sheet mask that I forgot I had in here. Also from Montagne Jeunesse, their 24 karat gold firming sheet mask. Once again, it comes in two parts, so it's more easy to apply. I do love 24 karat gold in skincare. It sounds super fancy, but it is really nice. Next up from Paula's Choice, I have three of their products. I have the Omega Plus Complex Moisturizer with Chia and Flaxseed. I really like this. I forget if this is the second one I used or only the first one. Um, but I do still have a backup of this, which I will surely use up um, in the next year. Another favorite I love is the Exfoliate Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant with Salicylic Acid. I feel like this is super popular and with good reason. I think they changed the packaging now, so this is the old one still. You literally just need a bit on a cotton pad and gently wipe it across your face. I do this at night and in the morning my face is so smooth. 
has a nice shine to it and I feel like it really helps shrink the appearance of pores so I would highly recommend getting this. And then another product that's been getting a lot of hype this year that I finally got to try is this Boost C15 Super Booster 15% Vitamin C with Vitamin E and Ferulic Acid. So this comes with a little dropper as so. And you only need a small amount. You can apply once or twice daily to your face and neck. I went for a Jet Peel facial recently and the lady really recommended that I incorporate vitamin C in to my daily routine so I have to be mindful of that moving forward. Next up from Olay Regenerist, I have their Tone Serum Max and their Retinol 24 Max Night Serum. Both are fragrance free, which I love. I don't know if I ever used Olay skincare in the past, but I got a really generous package with a lot of their products, which I'm currently trying out. And these are the first two that made it to the empties bin. And I actually really like them. I think they're a good option at the drugstore if you're looking for something more affordable. Another brand I really like is Graydon. So this is a Canadian brand based out of Toronto. I tried their face food mineral mist and their 3-in-1 aloe milk cleanser. I liked both of these very very much. I swear by face mists, I just like them as the first step after cleansing my face. I feel it makes the moisturizers sink in better and I just find the experience of putting a facial mist on so like soothing and relaxing. And then this cleanser is more of like a cream cleanser, but I really liked it as well. I do find it left a bit more of like an oily film, so that's something to keep in mind if you usually try to avoid cleansers that do that. Another brand I absolutely love is Glow Skin Beauty. This is their Phytoactive Cream Cleanser. This is the second or third one I've ever used up, and honestly, I think it's like my favorite cleanser of all time. It is definitely like on the pricier side, but it just works so well. Like the texture, they nailed it. It doesn't really have a scent, which is really nice. And it's a cleansing cream, which I personally really like. And it doesn't leave that oily film like that other product. It's just really amazing. I really like it. And then an Australian brand I tried out this year is Alia Skin. Um, I saw they sell them, I think, at the drugstore here. So it's awesome that it made it all the way to Canada and it's more accessible. And this is a cruelty-free and vegan brand and this is their foaming Mistler cleanser infused with witch hazel and watermelon seed oil. So as you can see it comes with a pump, it's actually a liquid but when it comes out it foams. And at first I wasn't sure if I liked it and then I actually grew to really enjoy it, I kept it in my shower. But this is something I wouldn't recommend if you have makeup on, uh, you would definitely have to double cleanse if using this. But it's a really nice like light cleanser. So it's just to refresh your skin at the end of the day, I really like this. And then from Pixi, two products I have that I've previously tried and really like is the Peel and Polish Resurfacing Concentrate. This is meant for your face but I actually use it on my neck and décolleté and like on my elbows. I really like that you can use it morning or night and it's like has very fine beads. I actually don't remember what they're made of, um, but they're super gentle. And then they're hydrating milky cleanser with coconut and probiotics. I really, 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 really like this. It actually doesn't have a strong coconut milk scent, which I do appreciate because sometimes I find it can be like a bit too strong. And then it contains probiotic and willow bark extract, which are really great for um, your skin, obviously. I also kept these in my shower. Then I have this age refining cleanser from Azelique and this is iHerb's own skincare brand. I got to work with them a couple of years ago and try out this skincare range when it was new and I did really really like it. Again, you can use this morning and night. This is a gel cleanser. I would say I wasn't crazy about the scent but it was okay to use. Um, I still managed to finish it up. A brand I discovered last year and really liked and I got to work with them as well is Banish and they're known for making really great acne products and treatments. I used up the All Clear Mint Cleanser and the Vitamin C Creme. So this is basically a bit of a, like a thicker moisturizer, so I like using this at night. And the cleanser, really nice. I love anything with mint, so it felt really refreshing and cooling on the face. And I really do recommend their products. They're really great. I like that they come in glass packaging, so they're great to reuse. And their ingredients are really natural and their products are made fresh in Pasadena, California. So they make them in small batches, which is really neat. 
Next from La Neige. I actually never tried their products before, but a YouTuber I really like following kept recommending their like sleeping care lip balm and I also got this sample from Sephora. It's their water sleeping mask. I actually ended up using it kind of like a night moisturizer, leave-on moisturizer, and it's just a sample, but I, I would definitely get this again. It was a gel texture. It just feels so nice. You're meant to use it like once or twice a week since it is more rich, but I really, really, really liked discovering this brand this year. And then from Yes2, I have their Coconut Hydrate and Restore Cleansing Facial Wipes. Now I love a lot of their products, but this unfortunately just really like stung my face. I still managed to use it up, but I definitely noticed that it irritated my skin, which was a bummer because I like a lot of their other products. It might have been the scent in this product. There is fragrance, so I think that might have been the problem. So I would steer clear from trying this if you do have sensitive skin like me. And then we made it to the end, guys. I just have six more products, but they're all from Yves Rocher, so I'll speed through this part. The first one is their Pure Bleuet gentle makeup remover for sensitive eyes. So this is a blueberry makeup remover. I love this stuff. My mom used that when I was growing up and honestly it's so soothing and not irritating on the eyes. You just have to use a cotton pad, apply it to your eye, let it sit for maybe like 30 seconds before wiping to really not have to rub your eyes too much. It's really great. I love this stuff. Next from their Hydra Vegetal line. I did dedicate a full video to this range as well as a blog post, so I'll make sure to link it below. I have their Radiance Exfoliating Gel. So this had little beads in it. It was very gentle on the skin. I have the Ultra Fresh Cleansing Gel. So this is really nice too, felt very fresh. And then their Moisturizing Tonifying Lotion, which I would also apply with a cotton pad. I just liked this range in general, and it's great for normal to combo skin, which is what I have. So definitely look into these. And then from their White Botanical line, which I adore as well, I love their Creamy Cleanser from this range. This is their Dark Spot Youth Essence. I do have a few dark spots from the sun, so this is really nice. I find it did help them look a bit less visible. And you can use this morning and night. I really want to try more products from this range. And then lastly from their Serum Vegetal line, I have the Wrinkles and Firmness Ultra Suiting Plumping Day Care. I am starting to get fine lines, I am getting older and it's that time when I really need to be mindful about keeping up my skincare routine, so this is great just to prevent my fine lines from getting any deeper too quickly. I really like this product, it's great for sensitive skin as well. So that concludes all of the products I've used up this year. I counted them earlier and I think there's like over 50, which is just nuts, but I'm glad I'm rotating stuff in my stash and collection. And for the most part, I really enjoyed all of these products. There were a few misses, but as is to be expected, not everyone will like everything. Something I like, you might not like, and something you might not like, I might like. So that's the thing with beauty and skincare and hair care products, it's really great to test out stuff to see what works for you. And I hope my mini reviews here help you in case you've been thinking of trying new products or maybe you discover new brands you've never heard of before and that piqued your curiosity as well. So that concludes today's video, I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!